so I basically have like four and a half hours to wait for my next flight. And the airport here is really expensive. So when you get off the plane, make sure that you actually nearly run the passport control because it just becomes like a cattle mart. Be aware, if you're not going to run, be aware to be trampled. And sometimes this can take over an hour. Hello everybody! Sponge cake. So you take well, in um, basically when sunset you have like a little bit very creamy. No, number three. When no moon out that has to have that. I like sundown, it's like a snack meal. And it consists of kind of breakfast. See, everybody has to pet her stuff. I'm not going Breakfast yeah, things. Yeah, we've got croissants, we've got little kind of donut eatings, but then there's like cakes. Let's got... explain what gute actually means though. The word, I don't know what the word means. To, to taste. To taste. Gute means to taste. So gute is basically where we're going to be tasting like little kind of tasty things. There's like milfe, there's bread that looks like cake, and there's donuts and croissants, and the bash curry. And pancakes, our favourite pancakes. My donut. I have half of Everybody has to. Say this in Arabic. Yeah. Say again now. There's one thing that I missed about being in France and that's going to Carrefour. Well, I'm actually not in France, I'm in Morocco, but it's still Carrefour. <laughs> Who's excited for Carrefour? <laughs> oh my god, look at that spot! Yeah. Some people, when they go on holidays, go to water parks. We're in Carrefour. <laughs> If I yeah, have well, the pinky colours, which colour would you like? Can I have bougie lilac? You can have bougie lilac, yes. Yes. And be happy, you don't, you're never happy after you do one. I actually don't want to buy any of these stuff. It's not BPA free, and it's plastic. I don't know how nobody has actually thought about this before. Maybe they do exist. Then. No, we would have seen ads for it or something. Bin bags that have scents on them, so this has a lemon smell, and then you can get jasmine scented ones. What's the what? Lavender is the one that we have yeah, at home. We don't have any lavender. We don't have a house, but we have sent the bin bag. <laughs> So going out to eat in Morocco, uh, you can go to like, would it be fair to say that you either have a really fancy place or like a not so fancy place? Yeah, I think so, yeah. But the not so fancy places are the best places to go because it's like proper food. Make me my food.
It's a fish restaurant. I'll take you on a trip around it. This is basically what a uh, what a Moroccan apartment looks like. We decided to take the stairs up for some mad reason. I like the way it changes colours every floor. Oh my god! The lactic acid. Oh my god! We're not even there. Five floors, isn't it? Yeah, five or six. Yeah. Double stepping. Oh my god! Nearly there. Here we go. So in my last in my last Moroccan log you would have seen me up here dodging all these wires here. So this is on the top of every uh, apartment you'll have this sort of stuff where you'd come and hang hang your I don't know unmentionables so if you're in Casablanca or if you're in Casablanca then check this place out a bowl of cappuccino Another coffee review brought to you in part by Sharif. Some things are better left unsaid. Here's your jus de l'orange. <laughs> we walked out and didn't get our cake. So this is on top of Yaz's auntie's house. Uh, auntie Hesna or Amidi Hesna. This is a lot different to what Mima's house looks like. So see out the back there it's one of the poorer parts of Casablanca right there and everybody has cages for where their clothes are so and then oh yeah all the aerials the aerials oh, all the aerials look cool as well So yeah, it's kind of funny because like we don't really have this in Ireland or if you do you live in flats or you can't really get up to the apartments I don't think, up onto the rooftop. So I'm going for some, uh, oh which house is it? I'm going for some lunch or dinner now I suppose. Um, it's the lobby. And And this is the birthday girl. And Weem is having a sleep.
so we are we've left the beach house and we have about a three hour drive three hour drive Layla or three and a half? Around three and a half to four hours at the start. Uh, we have to go to Marrakesh and then we have to get a flight at half six, land in Ireland at twenty past ten and then another whatever you wait in an airport and then another forty minutes home. So uh, I just had a coffee. Slancha. Sorry about the light. Slancha. And Slancha, uh Oh, so it is ten past two in the morning. Where's Yaz? Yeah, it's ten past two in the morning. Um, we've stopped in at the petrol station. How are you feeling, Yaz? I'm in bed. What's my bed? She wants her bed and she she needs the toilet. Yeah, it is cold. It's a uh, sixteen and a half degrees. That's like all you've had is freezing. Um, I'll show you inside a uh, petrol station in Morocco because it's very interesting. Anybody outside so I'm going to go to the toilet? Oh yeah, okay. With all my muscles. Are you going to go to the toilet? By the way, it's really essential to bring somebody roll with you in Morocco because they don't want that mural. And while we're on this topic, your left hand is your caca hand. That's what you eat with your right hand all the time. And usually where there's toilets there will be a prayer room. So hopefully I can hopefully I can show Ah oh, there we go, there's the prayer room. But I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, I can't show you. There's people. Oh no, there's no people praying, there's people sleeping. And before you start commenting that's not disrespectful, I'm just showing you what it's like. Do you reckon they have any jump ons? I might get a cow. Another coffee review brought to you in part by this petrol station. This is a cafe creme. It's a bit watery. All right, better go. Subscribe right now. Subscribe now. Subscribe now. Subscribe now.